One, two, three. Today we're gonna be exploring the Juche at like East Coast kind of area. I'm sort of familiar with it but not like really. So I have a friend here who has super good recommendations. Her name is Shemaine, she's also a food blogger. I'm gonna list like her socials here, follow her, read her blog. She was the one that actually recommended these places. So these are like her spots and we're gonna try it. So yeah, our first location is Sin Popo and it's a kind of like fusion, hipstery, very Singaporean but like a little bit hipster kind of cafe. We're gonna try a deconstructed nasi lemak and stuff like that. And then after that, uh, come with us, you'll, you'll find out where. Actually, one of the recommendations to have is the drink, which is uh, their signature, like, oh, the, this. It's like the swan made oh ice, God. like. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to explain, but it's just very nice. So this nasi lemak set is for two, it's $28, meaning you're at $14 per person. And then the drink was $5, it's a sour plum lime drink. And with the set, we get coconut rice, egg with a bit of onion radish, and then we also get more onion radish in the center. And around the clock, we've got ha cheong kai chicken wings, we've got pork belly, we've got sambal fish bowl, we've got curry, we've got rojak slaw, and we've also got luncheon meat chips. So we're just gonna try everything now and see how it is. The Hai Chong Kai chicken here is a bit different. They say that they use like authentic Hai Chong Kai, so it's a bit different from the ones you get at those Zicha store, but it's a bit darker because they use like maybe like the, the fake kind. Nice. Sambal fish balls. Mmm, okay. A little spicy. Has that like nasi lemak flavor. I like it. Chips, chips. Can y'all hear it? Curry. Oh, it's too crispy. Potato wedges. Light tangy, not as like coconut milky as you would think it is. I'm gonna try the rojak slaw now. It tastes like rojak. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's good. You know, if you claim you're expecting rojak, that's it. So Charmaine told me that this is actually made with a marinade of fermented soybean instead of like the usual marinade. And so she said, once you know, you're gonna taste it. So. I'm tasting it! She's right. It is really very subtle and like the thing that I like about this uh, pork belly is that the crisp on the edges is very light. Like you can taste the oil which is like fun in a pork belly but not super oily that you think it's very gelat. Oh, okay. Ah, what? <laughs> so I just want to show that actually there's like layers of meat and fat. So the meat right is thicker than the fat. So that's why when you eat, it doesn't feel so oily. They use like a leaner meat, I guess. Yeah, it's a very balanced set and I think they're a combination of like different textures. And the slaw is quite light and fresh and juicy but also like zingy and it has that like the rojak taste. And then you know with the sambal fish balls, um, the pork belly, the ha cheong kai, like it's a very like coherent spread but it still has variety inside of the spread. And then everything balances out really well with the lightness and the fluffiness of the coconut rice. And sambal also gives like a little like spicy cake so but it's not that spicy so you guys who don't eat spicy you can also like you know wash down with the sour plum drink. It's very good. It's really good, yeah. And I think for $14 per person, like this is a really good sampling plate, especially if you're like bringing your friends that are tourists over that have never like tried all these things before. I wouldn't say this is as much a deconstructed nasi lemak as it is like a fusion or like a different take and a tapas style of nasi lemak. So I mean it's up to you whether you want 
a try. I think it's worth a, a try because it's just like very interesting in general. And like lunch and chips. Yeah. I'll recommend you guys to come here if you want like a more unique experience, not like your usual cafe spot. I realized that it's not even really like a Singaporean flavor. It's more of like a Peranakan flavor. And it's very unique to like how Katong is lah Because Katong is known for being like a Peranakan kind of Eurasian enclave So uh, right now we're gonna go to our second location Where are we going Sherm? We are gonna have a local dish that I really like a lot It's Yong Tao Fu But it's all handmade so we'll just show you guys the area It's like this So this is just right across the road, down the line, opposite uh, 328 Katong Laksa and Brawn and Brains. And we're just gonna order some stuff now. You just like indicate how many you want out of each item and then they'll serve it out in like a big plate. Everything here is like handmade, so we'll just order a few and then you guys can see how it looks like later. The best thing here is like the tofu pi, which is the tao pi. Oh my god, that's like no good. For the cooking skin first. Yes. Mm. So they also have like um, two kinds of sauces here. So your usual like um, chili, and then um, they have this like I really don't know how to explain this sauce. It's a bit um, not as artificial as the red color sauce they usually eat. I'm so confused. I don't know what this is. Can you ask me? This is what they do. I don't know. Actually, I think they just want the same. I, yeah. Honestly, I think it's uh, the chicham sauce. Mm. It's well done. I wouldn't say it's anything special, yeah. but. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! They actually stuff their um, ingredients with meat instead of the usual um, fish cakes. Yeah. yeah. Usually here is like very packed in the weekends. Brenda has left the table. <laughs> I didn't want to blow my nose on camera, guys. Like. Poor thing. <laughs> okay, mm. we're gonna try the fish ball now. This is my favorite. It's very bouncy. Oh, yeah. yeah, right? It's very different, like, um, the fish ball is damn big. Well, after me, it's still, like, very big, uh. They actually charge per piece. So one piece is 70 cents, and then you must minimum order is 10 pieces, so that's, like, 7 dollars. Um, if I, for me, usually when I come with, like, my family or with my friends, we just order, like, one rice to share, and then we order more layer. Because the, the, the ingredients here are actually very nice. Alright, hey everyone, so I have an external mic with me now because today is just going to be pretty noisy. I don't know if you can hear the birds, but the birds, that's the traffic. I had to rest like last week. We couldn't continue filming. I was so sick and I really wasn't feeling it and I felt so bad and then Shermaine was like, you know what, you just need to go back and sleep. So I went back. It's a different week. I've got curly hair today, did my hair today and uh, Shermaine now has grey hair. We're now opposite like Ampang Niang Tofu. A lot of the places that we wanted to visit ended up being like either under renovation or just like not there anymore which is stressful but it's okay, we're gonna figure it out. I hope you don't mind that I'm gonna be holding this. Just, just take it as like... It's a new style. It's a new style. <laughs> you'll see? You'll see? And a lot of y'all have actually sent me like messages saying that you want me to check out the chicken rice at Katong Shopping Centre. And the fact is like I have in the past, I didn't really think it was that insanely good. It's just a very very generous bowl. And Charmaine says it's meh also. So we decided to like walk down and really see stuff that is interesting. And we've stumbled upon 5 Star because 5 Star has just like been around for a very long time but I've never like personally eaten it. Right now as you can tell the menu and everything is very like tourist fight. So we just want to see if the standard has dropped, if it's still good, etc. So we're here, we're just gonna order something, probably the set, like just a set with the signature tofu. So yeah.
Alright, I'm just gonna go for it, okay? Mm. Smell first. Okay, it's not as like fragrant. But it's like chicken rice rice, chicken no? rice huh? Yeah. My main issue is is like the value and the price. I think it's better off if you just order like the 550 set, which is just like normal chicken rice. Like it's just chicken and rice, like for one person. Because you get one square of tofu and you get some vegetables for twice the price. Can we try the chicken? Yeah, it's truly like... The last time I was here, I think it's like a year plus ago. I think they did change their menu a little bit because uh, when I was here the last time, they didn't have like sets like this. Or maybe I remember wrongly lah. Means they didn't leave an impact in my mind. I used to like this place. Used to, nice. It's very bony. Like the reason why it looks so full is because it's a lot of bone that you cannot really mm. chew through. Yeah, like look at the. Yeah, it's just like fully like so the chicken is like this thick, but like the bone is like this thick. And the rice is quite meh. And I like we ordered Thai, so it should be like way juicier and like melt in your mouth like mm. kind of thing, right? The vegetable is just vegetable rock guys. Nothing special. They fry the tofu on the outside, but the inside is like soft. Tofu? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. Mm. Very like Chinese restaurant. Yeah, kind yeah, of. yeah, like Tsar. But it's 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 okay. Okay, like we're here to look for like exceptionally good food. So if we're disappointed, it doesn't mean that it's bad or like I would never eat this on a normal day. It's just that like I wanna have stuff that's very good to eat, to recommend y'all, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna like slap my name on it and be like Brenda approved or like Shamane right. approved. Yeah. It's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If you're at Juchet and you brought like your touristy friends to come and take photos of like, you know, the Peranakan buildings and you're finding somewhere to eat that has a lot of variety, okay, then just come down here. It's not that bad. But it's not like specialised or very good in like something. So we're at our second place now, mm. which was the place that like we were very sort of interested by while we were walking. This is called Glory Catering and it does yeah. a lot of like Peranakan food. Mm. So we're very excited to try it out. I think it was the boss that like was sort of like going like it was mm. like it's very intimidating at first. Yeah, because like, we were like super like Swaku. Like, mm. Don't know how to order, like everything is just like quite not very straightforward. Like, no, he was like, just like you know, you it, what you want? And I'm like, I don't know what I want. Help me out here. Yeah, okay, the thing is, we still don't know how much any of this costs. So we'll probably yeah, have to ask have later. Idea how much it yeah, 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 yeah. We like just, okay, la, okay, la, yeah, okay. Just take la. But if we didn't order that much, but it's not that little, so like. So right here, first up, we have the I am random. Wow, wow, wow. Bow, bow, bow. It looks. Oh, it smells damn good. Uh, luckily, I saved my stomach. For this. I Don't have to remind me. <laughs> I let Brenda eat all the chicken rice just now. Oh. And then we also have acha. My grandma used to make really good acha, so. Can I do this? Does it work? Can see, can see. And then next up we have the chap chai, uh, yeah. the I curry like vegetables. The curry yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like this. Actually, all the servings are quite big. The final one we have the kueh pine tea. So, we have gotten our plates ready with a little bit of everything and we're gonna try We're gonna try all of our stuff and yeah. see how it's like, whether we like it or not Okay, what do you wanna try first? I actually wanna try the uh, acha Okay Acha Yeah, acha I love it, I love it, I love it Okay, can I put everything? It has like the heat it has like the sourness, the tartness, the sweetness also. The sweetness is also there. But each flavour doesn't overpower one another. It's crunchy. Um, there's a lot, like the pickling is just nice. Do y'all know that I know how to make acha? Yeah, she's, she says she's gonna make for me. <laughs> oh no, I'm just like eating the other stuff with the rice. Okay, I'm eating the curry veg. Yeah, with like traditional like chap chai, it's very much, you know like that lotong taste? 
Mm. I love it. When cabbage is like super silky and it's just like, mmm, I love it. It looks horrible. It always looks horrible because it's just like cabbage in like a lontongi you know, soup. Like, mm. Yeah, but I love it. Love it so much. I always Ooh. like it when like the curry vegetable, the the zap, right, the zap, like the sauce isn't too overpowering, so you can just like drink it, you know. Okay, let's try the ayam now. Yeah. I yeah. got the drumstick and Shamin got the breast. Okay. So yeah. let's see. Wow. Oh, really? Good. Okay, good. it's mm -hmm. my turn. The sambal, the mmm. Mm. Okay. It's so fragrant. It's really good. It's like the flavor actually goes through into the chicken. You can taste it, like the all sauce the way right. through. Yeah, it's like it's salty really, but not too much. Yeah, it's very fragrant. Like the smell of the spices, you can taste it. It's good. Mm. Well, actually, mine is Thai. Eh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll give you some. Share the love. Yeah, girl. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Oh my God. Now that I know it's a Thai, it's not that tender. Right, it's not it the tender, but mm. it's good. Mm. You want to try the drumstick? Okay. Mm. Thank you. Damn, I feel like yelling to the uncle. Very nice, eh? <laughs> the ayam sauce, right, has a bit more spicy kick to it. While the curry vegetable has a more coconutty flavor. The mm. flavor profile of this is way punchier. Yeah. And it lingers on your mouth. Mm. I think the amount of sweetness and the amount of spice is perfect. I am not a spice eater, like I don't eat spice for fun. I only eat it when it elevates like the flavor profile. I know I sound so bougie when I talk about it, but it's true lah. Like if it's spicy for no reason, then I don't want it. But I'm not looking for water because it really counteracts with the sweetness mm. and with the acid. And you have like the rice to like balance it out. Yeah. Mm. Really? Wow. Like Good it. job, Glory King Chering. What the heck? It's truly a it's, hidden yeah, gem. Yeah. Like. No, I was just telling, I was telling Brenda just now, say like, you know, we're just gonna walk down from like, cause you walk all the way to the other end of the street. So, okay, let's just walk down. Find anything that we, we want to try, and if it's good, it's really a hidden gem. So this place is one of it. Mm. Alright, I tried a great idea. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Before we like, you know, eat. Oh my God, what was I doing with the chicken rice? I didn't want to waste my food lah and I was hungry but like now I'm just like oh my god Are you a one one shot eater or a half eater? I usually have to be a one shot eater just cause it's like a lot Should we, should okay, we do yes. the one shot? Okay we're gonna do a, we're gonna do love shot You know how to do love shot? Oh Wait um like Oh like, like this Okay okay ready? Okay One, two, three. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. It's damn juicy. Oh, it's so fragrant. The wow. The shell is so good. Yeah. It's so juicy. Mm. I thought it was gonna like. Mm. It was like where we had that the moment Almost. because like when we bite right, the juice was like. Oh, exploded in your mouth, man. Yeah, like, but it's not like a soggy juice. It's mm. really like a fresh sort of like. The juice actually came like, from I think the the radish. Yes, mm. and it's not pickled. It's just radish, fresh radish. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. I'm so mind blown. Can bring, can bring. Who's that? Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. Yeah, it's halal. Yes. It's halal. Oh yeah. Right. That's right. I'm gonna bring her here. Yeah, she, I think she'll like it. I think so. I think so. Yay! Okay, we're yes. just gonna eat now. Yes. We're probably gonna like finish everything up. But I'll show you how we conquer this thing. Okay. <laughs> house because we were so full we literally could not eat ways we yes. went to kimchi mm. uh kimchi is like really right opposite i want to it's right along the road you At can't the miss Ashton's it the area. so we've got a bunch of stuff here yeah. oh we got we got a teo cheng gao each yeah yeah and then we have this like tapioca cake i guess yeah and then also this one is one of my faves Me it has like too. the blue like is it called butterfly pea i think 
though. Yeah, like that dye and this like coconut oh, thing. Oh, I did it. Oh, you did it! I Come did it! Nice tapioca. This is called the nine layered cake, also known as Teo Cheng Gao. Oh, okay, let's try this then. Okay, since we have one of each. Do you guys actually eat it like this? Or do you peel it layer by layer? Because me and Brenda, we are the... We are the peelers. We are the peelers. But I feel like the red on top is always the hardest. Yeah. So, so I feel like I need to chomp once oh, to like, try it. Glousy. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna peel it. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna chomp chomp first. Chomp chomp first and oh, then okay. peel layer by layer. Mmm. Even more light and sweet and buttery. Yeah. Look at how like it's very fresh elastic, this is. Like yeah. Well, cause I'm using I'm eating like the top layer now, so like you said, it's a bit harder. Mm. Cause I think I don't know why also the top layer is just a bit harder lah. I think cause they layer on top of each other, then it retains the moisture. Mm -hmm. Then the top one it just like ex exposed to air. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it smells good. Mm. I always forget to smell it. I like that it's not super sweet. The sugar yeah. is an aftertaste. Yeah, actually the first taste you taste is actually yeah. the char and oh, the coconut. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had this in the past but it's always like a bit heavier and a bit harder to eat. Possibly mm. it's because it's less fresh. This one is probably very fresh. I have to agree that this one actually is quite soft in texture. And when you're eating it, it when you bite, it melts after a while. Mm. Okay, so this is the... Um, is the coconut got a bit blue inside uh, You know? Get it? Yeah. Almost, yeah. Okay, cheers. Cheers! Mm. It's a lot saltier than the others. But it's good. It really disintegrates. You know, and then there's like nice texture in the back. The glutinous rice. I will say it's, it's very salty actually. What other Nonya Kuis do you guys like? First know. of all, what are these called? <laughs> yeah, it really, really. We really yeah, don't like know. Super, we them suck. Yeah, I'm so sorry. We'd also like to know where else do you recommend us looking yeah. for kueh? I'm gonna try more stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you have recommendations, please feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for joining no us problem. today, Shermaine, and last week as well. <laughs> if you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I make new videos once or twice a week. Sometimes I'm trying twice now. It's a lot of work, okay? Yeah, it really is. God, thank you for saying that. And don't forget to also turn on the bell to receive notifications. And we'll see you guys really soon. See you. Bye. Oh, bet you didn't expect that. Smooth transition. Oh shit. Oh, I need to turn on my microphone. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to do it again. Back. <laughs>